According to the European Commission's Institute for Energy, just 0.3% of the Sahara Desert's intense solar energy can provide Europe with all the electrical power it needs. A company called Noor Energy plans to capture some of it by building a solar plant similar to this Israeli one in Negev Desert using heliotropic mirrors. The technology, unlike photovoltaic cells, can generate energy even when the sky is overcast or at night. Thousands of mirrors spread over 100 square kilometers will concentrate sunlight to a tower where it heats and melts a special salt. Kevin Sarah is the CEO of Noor Energy. So you can then store that heat very easily so you can continue producing electricity after the sun goes down. In a heat exchanger, the molten salt turns water into steam for turbines that turn electrical generators. Sarah says the project could significantly decrease use of fossil fuels in Europe. We could gradually decarbonize the European grid using desert power and using this solar energy with storage from the, from the Sahara Desert and link to Europe with high voltage DC cables which are very, very low, low in their losses. The cable link to Europe is another interesting part of the project. Instead of the usual alternating current transmission, Noor Energy plans to send the power by a dedicated direct current underwater cable that has only 3% loss of power per 1,000 kilometers. In addition to being cheaper, this technology requires no synchronization between different AC transmission systems. Recently, Tunisia held its second democratic parliamentary elections. Sarah says the solar energy project could contribute to the country's stability. A lot of this equipment can be manufactured by local Tunisian companies and that will create employment and employment opportunities for the Tunisian youth. The construction of the solar plant in southwestern Tunisia is expected to start by the end of 2016, with the first kilowatts being delivered by late 2018. George Putic, VOA News, Washington.